Greetings, Bronco fans. David Garrett here along with Edgar Morocco, volleyball coach at UCO, as the Broncos head into their final week of the regular season before conference postseason tournament play and then a hopeful NCAA berth and then maybe an eventual national championship. Edgar, that's the goal, isn't it? Absolutely. The last several years, the way the team has been performing and overall as a program and the culture we've built, that's our ultimate goal. Yeah. What are you, what are you striving? I know you're looking for wins, uh, in this last week of the regular season, but what do you want to see out of your ladies in this stretch run? Well, it's it's of course the wins, but I think the wins take care of themselves as certain things are taking place in the court. At this point, deep into the season, we just want to make sure that chemistry is still uh, working fine, and then we're fine-tuning little things here and there, connections with middle hitters, uh, little things on the defensive end, how do we block slide, are we floating on the block, so it's very fine-tuning things, and Realistically, that's what you want at this point in the season anyway. I was looking at the uh, volleyball rankings that came out, and of course, several conference teams ranked in the top 10, uh, with UNK, I believe, at third this week, and you're at sixth. Um, th that's a double-edged sword, isn't it? I mean, it, it sharpens you, yet you have tough competition you got to try to climb over uh, for your reputation as well. It is. I mean, it sharpens us. I think MIAA has made us where we are right now, uh, one of the top teams in the conference. and. Thankfully, they were consistently being ranked in the nation as well. I think that's great recognition for our players. So, yeah, it also keeps you in your toes, though. That's the double-edged part of it that you're referring to. So we just want to continue playing well and then let uh, give everything we can on the court and let those rankings take care of themselves. Yeah, and, and there's been some matches that you've lost, but you've bounced back and, and probably bounced back stronger than you were before those uh, matches. Would you talk about the, the mental fortitude that your players have had to exhibit and, and maybe what you've tried to teach them in, in keeping their eye on the prize? That's important. I mean, that's part of being an, a good team, a good program, and we talk about that uh, consistently. We talk about that every Monday, regardless of how our weekend goes, uh, the Friday and Saturday before that. So, and I think it's also a good uh, virtue of a good program. Uh, we've done a good job not having any back-to-backs. I think they've done a good job with minimizing our losses to down to four, as as crazy as that sounds for a whole season, <laughs> having played 30 matches and and. You know, sometimes we're not happy with four. So we've got to be realistic. We've got to see where we were at the beginning in the August and then where we are now and got to acknowledge there are some huge positives there. And then at the same time, there are losses that are going to happen along the way. Hopefully they make you better and hopefully we bounce back like we have in the past. And that's very important. All right, best of luck this week. We'll catch up with you in the midst of all the postseason stuff. Thank you so much. All right, with Edgar Bronco, I'm David Garrett. Thanks for watching this edition of Bronco Vision.